pound and a half. Oh, that's a good fish right there, guys. Summer days spent by the water with a gentle breeze and the warmth of the sun hold a special place in the hearts of many. For those of us who have been fishing for years, summer brings with it a unique challenge and a rewarding pursuit, the summer crappy. So today let's dive into the depths of this season's secret and uncover the tactic that bring the summer crappy into your boat during the hottest days of the year. Crappy fishing once it gets hot can be some of the most productive times of the year. But it all starts with one key factor, oxygen. Just like us, the fish have got to breathe. And once the water temps rise, it forms what is known as the thermocline. Just to briefly explain what a thermocline is, just think of it as a closed off room that has no vent holes. And the longer you stay, the less you can breathe. Basically, there's a certain depth that there is little to no oxygen in the water column and fish cannot survive but it gives you the perfect formula of where to start looking for massive schools of crappy. The simplest way to find a thermocline is to go to the deepest part of your lake or a deep part of your lake, turn your 2D sonar and increase the sensitivity up and it will form a line on your graph and that's where the thermocline is. Now, once we figure out where the thermocline is, we know that the fish cannot be deeper than that. So we can adjust and look for brush piles, docks, bridges that are around that depth. In the summer, crappy stack up on brush piles, but that doesn't always mean you're gonna catch 20 to 30 fish per pile. Now, while it can happen, most of the time, you're only gonna catch a few fish off every pile. So I suggest what I like to call a brush rotation. Having four to five brush piles located and being able to go from pile to pile to catch the most active fish on that pile can be critical this time of year so you're not wasting time on fish that do not want to bite. Most of the fish you catch on the deeper brush are just going to be keeper sized fish in the eight to 10 inch range. Now I'm going to cover how to, how to target bigger fish in just a few minutes. The best places to start looking for summer brush piles is finding a creek or river channel that isn't deeper than your thermocline. Idling through these channels and focusing on stuff that is different, examples being creek channel swings, where the river channel comes close to a bank or a point, docks that have the creek or river channel running up under them or near them, these are perfect areas to find brush or to drop your own brush. Crappy are most active in low light conditions, meaning nighttime, morning time, and right before it gets dark. Now targeting these fish can be done with a handful of baits, but I do recommend smaller profiles this time of year because of the shad spawn that takes place during the morning hours. You also have a bluegill spawn that is probably taking place on your lake right now. So the fry from the bluegill are going to be very tiny also. 1.5 to 1.2 inch baits like I sell here at Crappy Man Jigs are perfect for this time of year. Really, all year long. Crappy Man Green and Monkey Milk are my go-tos, but pink seems to do really well at deeper depths. As far as jig head goes, just use a head that you're able to wait to go down. It's a patience game. I use a 132 for anything deeper than 20 feet and a 164 for everything else. Just because you have a deep dock or a deep brush doesn't always mean the crappie will be that deep. They suspend under, over the brush and the docks. Casting past the brush with it about 20 to 30 feet away from your boat will produce more bites. But don't be afraid to get right on top of the brush and vertical jig now for the big fish this is going to sound crazy but stop thinking deep the biggest fish you will catch this time of year will 90 percent come from 15 feet or less in low light conditions because they are feeding on what's left over from the shad spawn 
And then after the shad spawn, they will pull off to the nearest brush pile or the nearest dock. And they'll hang out there until nighttime to start doing everything again. The shad spawn is shallow for the most part. They spawn on bushes, rocks, and, and everything in between. Any kind of hard something that they can come up and swim into, they'll spawn on. And the crappie are right behind them, feeding on them while they are spawning. And once they get done spawning, the shad are going to move back out and the crappie are sitting there waiting on them. For catching big fish, 1.5 pounds and up, I like to target big flats with access to deeper water. But I want that flat to have bushes or lay downs or something on the bank that the shad can spawn on. Normally the flat will be an 8 to 15 feet deep and a pretty big flat meaning it's just flat for it like at least 10 to 15 feet now finding brush or stumps on this flat will be key and they, those will produce the biggest crappy for this time of year now i'm not saying you're not going to catch you know one or two deep but in my experience, the biggest crappie are very seldom stacked up. You may find two or three on a stump, or you're only gonna find one on a stump. And every one that I've ever caught this time of year has been kind of shallow. Now, last but not least, don't forget bridges. Not only do they protect you from the harsh sun, they provide low light conditions all day long. And if the fish are there, you can pretty much catch them good and not be hot at the same time. Now hopefully this has taught you all you need to know about getting out there and targeting the summertime crappie. Getting out there really early at the crack of daylight and getting off the water before all the party boaters and everything go, it's honestly probably the, the hardest part of this time of year because if you're like me, I hate having to get off the water early, but you got to you got to stay hydrated you got to go out there and catch a limit throw you a crappy man jigs put some fish in your boat it's mind-blowing what you can learn with today's technology God almighty. I, mean, I don't know what I got, dude. Gosh almighty. Stay still. Stay still, buddy. You coming in the bar? God almighty, that is a fat fish. That's a fruit up. What would Jason T say? The magnetoad. <laughs> Golly.